Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. We're going to be using the Tarot Illuminati again for today's daily tarot reading. This is for the 29th of April 2023. All right my lovelies, it's actually been a while since they've only given me three cards out of a deck but this is fabulous and I love that we have the Ace of Swords in the middle, we have the Six of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Princess of Pentacles, which is our Page of Pentacles out of this deck. Well, so, past lessons that we've learned, things that we've gotten clear on in the past, past situations, uh, we can actually use the knowledge that we've gained from those experiences into the future. So we have an opportunity to learn the lesson and to apply it in the now. So if you've learned, you know, you have a trigger <laughs> and you've learned to identify your trigger, there may be uh, an opportunity in the near future where that instance will be replayed to where you'd normally get triggered and you have the opportunity to act differently. That would be something, a lesson, uh, uh, something you've learned about yourself, just as an example. Also, past ideas that maybe you've tabled or written off or, you know, weren't, uh, you know, that big of an aha moment that you acted on it in the moment uh, that you may have forgotten about is now going to have the opportunity to be utilized. Maybe you had an idea uh, for a project and now's the ripe opportunity to actually get that project off the ground. A business idea get it off the ground this is actually a very good day for the sword suit hence why I love the ace of swords in the center there um, and it's great because it also plays into the astrology Mars and Cancer sextiles Uranus and Taurus change can be easier to focus on what you've learned from the past ideas from the past and putting them into use in the future um, you can take action to create the changes you want and hope for and you get you closer to your dream future you can also embrace things um, unconventionally moon also enters virgo extra chores and tasks um, may need to be done you can focus uh, on being more efficient with your time and energy as possible hence why you you know because you never want to waste your time you can improve your approach to ensure that you don't um, so integrating past knowledge, past lessons, past ideas, and utilizing them in the now and being very clear and concise and all above all focused um, with what that is. So this is not a day to really be uh, confused. This is a day when you probably were going to have a, a naturally sharp mind, not only because of the astrology, but because the cards gave us the lovely Ace of Swords right here in the center. So you might be more quick-witted than normal, um, sharper, very honed in focus on, on something. I will say, uh, beware of tunnel vision. That That is the only catch. When we're super focused, we can get tunnel vision and shut certain things out. Um, because once we latch on to something and start implementing it, you can literally tune out the rest of the world Please be mindful of that. You may be shutting other people out. You may be shutting other important duties out. And you may end up neglecting yourself. That is the pitfall of the day. And it must be said. Um, so we have 611. So all above all, uh, for numerology, we have 8 combined, which is, of course, strength and power. So you can really use your ideas and your focus to your greatest power. It is going to be your greatest strength for the day. As I said, be aware of tunnel vision. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.